Hey guys, welcome to Duck Duck Diecast. So in today's video, I have another repair video, and coincidentally, it's another Exoto. So I can't wait to show you guys the fix and the finished product. And yeah, like uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I noticed that a lot of people do like these uh, fixes. I do have more fixing videos upcoming. But yeah, so far I hope you guys enjoy this. I definitely enjoy fixing Exoto models myself. If you guys want to do it, I just want to let you know this is the way I would do it. I know there's multiple ways of fixing diecast cars. You could probably get a professional to do it, but I prefer to do it my way. It's more satisfying that way. And at the same time, if you guys make a mistake, you learn from it, right? So. And that's pretty much where I got to getting the confidence of repairing my own diecast cars. So yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so I bought this Exoto from a guy and I knew that there was an issue. The, uh, if you look here, the side mirror is off. So apparently it was being uh, checked by this one guy and unfortunately he knocked it off so that's all i know but unfortunately the seller forgot to mention to me that they tried putting it back in place as you can see there that is glue residue that uh, white stuff right there i'm just gonna use a toothpick to show you so this stuff right here that's all glue residue it's not supposed to be there and unfortunately there's a tiny streak right here in this section. It's not that noticeable. Uh, I don't care as much about this part. I just care about these parts right here. So unfortunately they hardened and uh, if I was gonna take that off, that's gonna damage the paint. So that's not what I'm here for. So what I plan to do is just fix this part. So when this piece snapped off, I would assume the previous owner just glued it on there. It didn't stick well and then it fell and it kind of stuck like that unknowingly. So like it was like a, that that end piece there was sort of like a, just like fused right there. So now to fix it, what I did first was I got my Dremel. So I got this one that sands down the area so what I do first is as you can see this area is already quite sanded down a bit like this area right here is smooth right there so I might need a little bit more but from what I can feel on this surface with my nail here is it's nice and nice and smooth and there's actually some area to work on so what I haven't done yet is right on the car so that is the next thing I have to do so I'm just gonna carefully grind down right here just just the surface just to get rid of that glue mating surface and then I will be able to use my glue and this is the one that I use I know this is a this is a silicone based one but like it's kind of like a, like for plumbing or whatever but the reason why I use this is because this actually has the um, the potential to like, okay, if you mess up, you can actually take it all off again and then do it all, all over. And whatever hardens on that piece, it's very, um, it's kind of a little bit gooey. So you don't need a lot of this stuff. And I use a toothpick to apply on it. So I apply a little bit on the side mirror and a little bit on the stem that was left on the side mirror on the car and that's where I'm gonna go from. And just to clarify, I am not a sponsor of Gorilla Glue. So Gorilla Glue, there's many types but preferably this is what I use just in case I mess up. And for me, it's I know it's not the permanent solution. I've used this on a couple of other models I only use the heavy duty Gorilla Glue like the epoxy stuff. If 
it's like a bigger piece, but small pieces like this, I'd rather use something a little bit gentler. As you can see right there, I'm pretty happy with that mating surface. So it's nice and flat now, and there's no sign of any like bulging or anything like that. Obviously I'm gonna clean this part and the stem on the car, and then I can apply the glue. So one thing I do have to mention if you're going to do this type of fix is less is more. So I would definitely take your time and if I was going to grind this, make sure it's not a significant amount. Like I'm just covering like, I don't know, micro millimeters out of this. Like I'm just scratching the surface of this one and the stem. Because if you do too much then you can't go back. I don't know what to do at that point. So take your time and again, less is more. So when applying the glue, I just kind of squeeze a little bit, and if you can see the tip there, that is more than enough that you need. And then what I do now is just a dab, just a tiny dab, just like that. That is like a really small amount right there. Because take note, this stuff is going to expand too, hey? Okay? I'm just going to do a little bit more there. And when you're happy with it, it's good. So yeah, I just used this uh, paper towel here to check out the area. And then I am going to apply a little bit to the model. And this stuff doesn't dry out quick, so I use that to my advantage. Again, take your time. I don't like the location of the glue, so I'm just gonna move it around a bit <laughs> and I've used this on multiple models such as tow hooks as well and so far I've checked the models from time to time and they still hold up quite well so here's a bonus there might be a little bit too much I'm just gonna take it off a little bit okay so it looks like it's gonna work I just need something to use as a support so it doesn't keep on dropping down there so let's see what I have around here so as you can see here, with modern engineering, I was able to find the perfect spot for it. So it might need a little bit more of an angle, so that's what I'm going to try to figure out here. Aside from that, I'm pretty happy with the height and fitment of it. So yeah, all I need to do now is apply the glue again and take my time. And as you can see, it's all set up. I just need to make sure it's all in there. All right, so after multiple attempts, that's the part that I'm trying to replicate on the broken side. And that is where I have placed it. So it is not probably the most accurate, but 
I left it right there, and as you can see, it is parallel to the other side. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. So as you can see, this is the side where nothing is damaged. And if we go on the other side, look at that. The stem is a little bit short, but it's not crazy, crazy short. Like I left as much as I can. And then the only thing I am concerned about is there is a little bit of an angle issue, but from how I see it, I'm just nitpicking at this point. It's pretty much good enough. I like I just wanna want it to be perfect, but again, it's never gonna be perfect, right? But yeah, from how it is at this angle, especially right on the front here, it looks absolutely great. And it has been dried for I want to say at least a month now. And I, when I dried it off, I left it out on the open as it is for about a day or two just to make sure it's all dried up and I didn't want anything to uh, move if I put it in the box or anything like that. So yeah, like I took it out of the box just to make sure and the box is sideways, upside down, it doesn't matter. It's going to stay in place as long as it's properly dried and you put the right amount of ratio of glue on it, it should stay in place fine. Doesn't matter if you shake it, obviously don't touch it. And yeah, it should be good. So yeah, I'm very happy with the fix. And obviously I will make a review on this Exodo in the future. And thank you for watching guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. See you guys next week Wednesday.